Okay. <clears throat> Just doing a sound check here to see if I'm getting up here or not. For some reason, I'm not hearing it. Okay, there we are. A little low, little low, little low. I'm trying to catch stuff before. Okay, let's see how that is. A little bit better. Whoa, that might be too loud. <clears throat> I don't want to cough and blow you guys' eardrums out or something. Okay, that, that'll probably be pretty good, I think, right there. Maybe just a bit higher. There we go. Oh. All right. All right. You guys are probably going to hear me uh, talking in the background a little bit here. There we go. You'll hear just a little bit of the background coming on. All right. <clears throat> okay, we are back. And... My phone's decided to still keep going off, and my air conditioner is just kicked back on. I don't know why it is not even, it's not even barely 69 degrees. We'll turn that off for the moment. Don't really need it right now. Hello, hello, one and all. Okay, so, something happened during the week. <laughs> um... Space Engineers got an update, and we got some new blocks. And I think I'm going to see if I can incorporate some of these in the build. Put the phone on silent here. Well, anyway. So, we were building this monster, <clears throat> or this cool little freighter right here to move stuff with. And Keen said, hey everybody, we want to unleash some new blocks on you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, we've got a bunch of new blocks. I don't know if I can incorporate them. I'm now looking at some of this and realizing, yeah, I could incorporate a lot of stuff if I plan properly. And I think we're going to. We're going to use the new blocks take out some of these Atmo thrusters here and probably some of these Atmo thrusters on the side because they are significantly late. Let me just throw it up here real quick. Where's my Atmo thruster? I need the big one. Put the big one down there. Take a look at this. These these new Atmo thrusters are just a fan blade pretty much. And we get small ones too. They take up a single block which is... <clears throat> absolutely amazing because we can do all kinds of stuff with something like this it also means that for small areas down here and stuff like that we can we can just incorporate these in there and it that might be enough to keep it lifted up off the ground so i mean we're we're looking at a pretty good little uh rebuilding here where i can just rebuild a whole bunch of stuff and make it all work so i think that's what i'm going to do right now i think i'm going to take out these thrusters we are going to, that looks good, replace them with these new ones. Oh, that makes things so much easier now. At the same time, I'm hoping these things work because I haven't really had a chance to mess around with them. And I hope that they're just like the original thrusters. The really cool part is <clears throat> they have a decorative thruster too. Which you got the, the cool part about these thrusters now. Yeah, the new interior blocks. I know. I'm, I'm trying to see what I can do with the new interior blocks because with the interior I've currently got, uh, Renegade uh, Bundy was talking about this. He said if you the new uh, blocks, the new interior blocks are awesome. But there, is there a difference in thrust and power consumption? I'm not sure. I haven't really had enough time to really test it. I got the. 
I got the update, and as soon as I got in, I had to go right back to work as soon as it loaded up. And my wife and kid were watching some anime when I got home, so I'm like, ah, I, this is the first chance I've had to really get back. I've been running, doing all sorts of stuff. So we're going to just toss it in there and see what happens. <laughs> but the cool thing about this <clears throat> that I love about this update with these thrusters, the thing I love about the thrusters is you've got this thruster that you can build around, and then you got this thruster that's meant to just go on the outside of your ship here. And just get over here. And just sit there just like that. And you can build a small helicarrier if you want. Uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping these work out because <laughs> that this just means we can do a lot more with the interiors of the ship. I can replace a lot more stuff. Like over here, I can now kind of replace some of these blocks here around the kitchen area. And I can add a bar in here if I want. I, I mean, we can, we can do a bar, we can do a kitchen, we can do all sorts of cool stuff. So right now, we, we've replaced those downward thrusters. I'm pretty sure those downward thrusters will be enough to hold things up. Let me just check here. Does it say anything different about them? No, it just says that they're a thruster that operates in a planetary atmosphere. So, yeah. Wait, there is a... Oh, there's an inset bookshelf. There's a bookshelf now? Oh, nice. Oh, that is cool. Okay. Now, we got, I know we got these new bed blocks, and I would love to use them. And we might use them. Let me look down here. The only problem I have is I've got that one... that one gyro right here. And I don't think there's a way we're going to be able to get around that gyro. <clears throat> Which sucks. But also, if I put those beds in there, one of these new bed types in there, it's going to cause a bunch of other issues too because I have to go through all this. But I know there's like a bunch of kitchen blocks or something. Where are those at? Okay, there's a kitchen block. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have kitchen blocks. I know we got the bed blocks. We got some cool blocks there too. Let's uh let me grab this. Okay, I've already got stuff set up, so we'll just go in here and see what we can do. So uh <clears throat> Probably gonna keep the vending machine there. We're probably going to remove that while I come over here and remove a few blocks on this side. Let's see what I can throw in here. Okay, we can put a couch in here. Oh, that's just awesome. <laughs> I can put a couch in here. Okay, that I can put a couch over there if I want anyway. We've got that bed. We've got this half bed here. That if it wasn't for that gyro, I could shove two of those in there. I figure there is a damaging exhaust with it. <clears throat> it's probably on the downward side. Uh, it's probably just like the original thruster, but they're just smaller. And, I mean, the fact that they only work in atmosphere, it is a technology you can use, like having a turbo fan just push down and then lift something. It's pretty much like a drone. And they actually showed a, uh, a vehicle made like a drone. Let's just drop down in here. Take a look at this. We got this bed. We also have this bed that you can see right through. Okay. Uh, we had a corner block. That would look good. Let's see, we got the bed, half bed. Okay, we've, we've looked through all this. Let's see number four here. We have plants. <clears throat> okay, we got an insect kitchen. Oh, dang, I wish I could. Mm. Crap, I wish I had designed this a little bit better. Oh, 
an aquarium block. These are like corner blocks you can put in just to expand your whole base up with. Oh, variant cataclysmo. Nice to see you. I figured I figured the drawback is they're just only going to be used in Atmo at a certain point. Now this new crate is pretty cool. I kind of want to put this on a uh, see if I can put this on a drone or something. Is there, there's not a smaller version of it, I don't think. No, there's not. But this would be something you could latch onto a drone and just drop it. Okay, I really like this. And I would love to put this thing in here somewhere. It is just not going to happen. So maybe it will. No, it won't. Will it or won't it? Can I make it work? Let's see. Okay. Uh, the problem is the vending machines in a way. Let's see. No, no, no. Go back that way. All right. Let's do... Well, if I do that... There's enough room for the vending machine and everything else. The problem is the kitchen disappears. That's the problem. <clears throat> These new blocks, dead gun it. <laughs> if all this options now, <laughs> and I can't figure out which one I, I, I can't figure out how I'm going to use it. Ah. Well, let's see here. What about. It's just that one spot right there where they've got all that extra stuff. I could slip that in and it would kind of phase in real good. Hmm. Now the real question is, once I put this in, what can I put over there? Hmm. That's highly annoying. And this isn't the only thing we got. We've got, uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I know we got another one. Let me see about these other ones. That have blocks in which you can put... <coughs> let's see. One of the television screens here. Yeah, they've got like rounded LCD panels now. A holographic LCD, which is kind of nifty, I'm not going to lie. There was another set of LCDs they were showing off here. Where are they? Is that what this is? I know we got new button panels. Control pedestal, button pedestal... Oh yeah, we also got this. Inset. Oh, that's a button panel. Oh, that's cool. I'm always trying to think up Jack Dawes. I'm always trying to think up effective shapes to make ships that are so super immersive. One I came up with is like an industrial looking flying saucer as a mothership. Can fit all the thrusters. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That would be a good one. Now, now it's like building a hel building a small helicarrier is an option now. You could just run a line of it and then just round the rest of it to where you want it to go, and it would work out just beautifully. Let's toss a button panel in here and see what that does. Let's see what we got in the button panels now. I may, <clears throat> I may not be able to use the one. But I would like to see what these things can do. Okay. Oh, wow. So we got buttons now. On the side. Oh, nice. Activate those. Press that. Flip. What did I take out? I knocked something out. What did I knock out? I, oh, I removed the uh, chair there. You can now make quite an effective uh, one room now, if you really wanted to, with these blocks. I mean, it's it's quite amazing. 
Jack Dawes. That's what I came up for Atmo because lots and lots of space for upward thrust. That is very immersive. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, it's kind of like how drones are built nowadays. If you ever have seen like a Hexler rotor or a quad rotor, they're, they're built like flying saucers. So you put all that fan blade on there so you can get those uh, rotary blades on there working real good. I don't know. I have a plan here. Um, what I would like to do is throw one of these blocks in here. I just don't know how I'm going to make that block work. See, we can throw one in here. And then I can flip it over here. You just wouldn't have the coffee maker sitting there ready to go. Ah, that's an issue. This gonna, wait a minute. What? There's storage in this as well. Oh my god, there's food stuff. <laughs> wait a minute, hold up now. They're giving us that. There's also storage for a medical kit. Are you joking? Oh. Well, that tears it. There's some of this stuff I'm just not going to be able to use. Because I, I needed to plan better for it. Let me see, is there any buttons I can push here? Anything I can store? No storage on this one. Oh, there is. There's storage here. Wow, this this just adds all kinds of inventory space now. Deck Dawes. But for space, I love a colossal thruster pack from which there is no escape. Yeah. Uh, really, that's what I love about this game. It's called Space Engineers. For a reason. One thing I am digging right now is this. Uh, we can put medical kits in here, food stuff in here. I wonder if Keen is getting to putting like hunger element inside. The Let me look here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where is... Where is the stuff like... All right. Now, we could... But, I mean, you could throw power kits in here. You could throw cosmic coffee and clawing soda in there and a med kit and all that good stuff. I mean, it's just... King's just getting it to where we can store crap in here. I think they're... I'll bet the next update's going to be like a quality of life update or something. <sighs> Crap. I really want to use this. If I could. What could I do with that? What could I do with that? Let's see. I guess I could throw in a fish tank here. Oh, the fish are animated. Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. The fish are animated, everybody. We, we have animated fish now. Jackdaws, dude, I saw the stream. There's dozens of blocks. Yeah. I, I'm 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 wigging out now because I've got I've got a fish tank in space now, <laughs> with live fish. I wonder I wonder if we're getting like NPCs at some point. There's got to be an NPC update coming because that's just the one thing Space Engineers doesn't have is a lethal enemy that you can deal with. Uh, number four. Let's see. Did we get new? We are just going to turn this. Well, there's a coffee stand. We're going to just turn this area into pretty much a kitchen. Uh, let's see. And we'll grab the kitchen block, too, while I'm at it. And I'll just... Number four. Where is the offset kitchen? We're just going to add this one kitchen part right here for all that <clears throat> so now we have all this extra cool stuff going on and then I can add something right here for the rest of it hmm that's awesome
There's just there's so much you can do with these blocks now. This just I mean look at this. Just utilizing these few blocks has made this room look so much better. And we we've added a ton of storage right here. We can store data pads in this, we can store all kinds of food and medical supplies in this thing. I mean dear lord. If I'd have known this was gonna happen, I'd have flipped this entire thing over to the other side. But I didn't, so kind of stuck. Let's see about... I need to put something right over here. Let's see about... I like weapons. Crew needs to have the guns like right where they can get them. And then... What do we want to do now? So number four could I'd like to set a bar there <laughs> that'd be nice uh, I don't think that would go over well let's see let's uh, do a corridor block here where's the corridor blocks oh, there we are that that's what we need right here and then I'll add something up top to light the way or some nonsense but here we are walk in here this is the nicest looking kitchen point in fact I think I can also put another chair right here uh, number six and we kind of get our table back so it's it's somewhat of a cramped ship if you stop and think about it it is somewhat cramped and it is working out pretty good. I might could put an inset light in here somewhere and illuminate the whole thing. <clears throat> if I really wanted. Okay, so... The next hard part about this is skinning this whole ship. And that's, that's going to be fun. So... We need to skin this area. And I'm going to keep this as flat as humanly possible. So not to mess anything up here. That will that will help a lot. Uh I'm gonna take you out. Because I'm not needing him anymore. Uh alright, let's go over to our regular blocks because we're about to skin this sucker. Uh, number four. Let me do number four. I need to see there's a certain block I'm needing here. Where'd you go? Right there you are. There's that, that, and that. That helps there. Now, anywhere, I want to add certain blocks, I can do that. Come back here. Okay, that might be a problem. Okay, we can do this. I may have to do something different with this here, this block here. I may have to leave it like that and then do some type of uh, opening for the thruster port. There was a trick I did a while back with. Let me see here. It was a trick I did a while back with the rusters that worked out beautifully, and that was with the what was it? The Desert Ranger. Uh, it's basically this. We'll put that in there. Is that thruster pack again? There it is. I'm also glad King put that right there. If there's a if there's a weakness here, we're about to find out when we go down the surface. We're gonna find out when we get to the surface. <laughs> if there's a problem here, we're gonna find it. Put that there, there, and there. And let's see, where is the right? Juke, juke, juke. There we go. 
And that just insets them pretty good. I'm hoping that there's not a weakness there that they don't have to have. Of course, I figure if they did, Kane would throw something in there and make and stop us from doing that. I do that so there. Do that there. Let's keep looking here, seeing what I can do. Okay, I need to put. Actually, is there a ladder here? I'm a genius. You guys will love this. I am a flipping genius here. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, I'm not a genius. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nah, I guess we'll do this instead. I was hoping I could do that in like just one big piece, and then I wouldn't have to worry about the other stuff, but no, nah, it didn't work out. It did not work. It did not work. Okay, we can shove some stuff in there. I can actually go right back to there, like so. And if I'm right... Oh yeah, look at that. That's amazing. <clears throat> Starting to take shape. Starting to take shape. I think the best thing I could do is probably try to see if I could just take number seven here. And let me just see. I'd like to know, figure out what I like to cover this in. If we do retro future armor, that's not going to look good. Sci-fi panels look pretty good. Clean armor is just going to have that one thing through it. Don't prefer that if I can help it. Don't want to use corrugated. That'll look weird. We got weldless armor. And I think I can make weldless armor work pretty good. The problem is when I come back in and do some stuff to it. Uh, no, no, that wasn't where I wanted to go. We'll go this way. And then we'll go this way. There we go. There we go. All right. This direction here. Probably better if I just go to here. Because I don't know how I'm gonna cover the rest of this, but I know how I'm gonna cover this. So we're all we're all good here. We'll cover that there like that. And then hmm. I do have some pieces in the front here. Oh no, not like that. Like this. That ain't going to work because what I wanted to do was I was going to try and see if I could put that slope in there, but I'm just going to have to, I'll have to put a, a sloping part in there just to make it look good, but it'll have to be this because I can't put, I there, that looks a little better. All right, it's starting to get, starting to, to find its shape. It's starting to find out where it looks at. Yes, corrugated space shack. <laughs> might do that. We might do that. Look like the simple tank from World War II. I think that's what it was called. Okay. Oh, that doesn't work out very good. I'll have to mess with something there so I can make all this come together pretty easily. I should probably put mirrored mode back on as I am skinning this. Okay, how does... Okay, that's that's going to drive me nuts if I don't deal with that now. Do that. That. And I think I'm going to do something different right here. What is that? Okay. 
No, I can't do anything different there. <laughs> We're just going to keep it like that. <clears throat> It'll ruin most of the aesthetics of the ship if I do that. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we can just have a small break right there. Just to make everything look interesting. And then I can cover this with plates or whatever else. Okay, all well, that's figured out. Let's drop here. See, right now what I want is a baseline shape before I start greebling the crap out of it. Because if I can get most of the shape down, I don't have to worry about much else. Let's uh, go number eight here. We'll install this again because it looks like a corrugated system. There we go. All right. So we got a lot of this stuff figured out here. Take some more shaping. Let's head over to this thing, see if I can maybe somehow get the right one the first time. Nope. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> And then I can just cover this with the uh, panels. To give it the look. And we just need a few panels here. And then I, what I will also do is I'll put uh, panels right there so everything just kind of gets even when I shove it all on there. And so if I want to cover up all this, it'll be easy. We'll just do that. So for like right here, that's completely covered up. And so you probably wouldn't even notice it if you looked right at it. Simple, yet effective. There we go. Do all that there. All right. So we're able... This is what I love about these new blocks. Every time King launches new blocks, we got new ways of fixing these ships and making them look good. So my only other problem here is, I think my gravity drive, and I'm correct, my gravity drive is sitting right there. That's annoying. We'll just have to do this. Now there's a trick. There's something I'm wanting to do with this. Yes, I know, I'm using a lot of this core gates. I'm using a lot of these panels right now. And one of the reasons is I like where the panels are going. Now I'm going to leave this here because I don't want to mess with that as much as I can. But I do want to add this. Oh, come now. I just noticed something really dumb. My hubris. Of adding this here. I did not realize that may be a gap. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me later. You can see here we've got this kind of figured out. And then... Come on, back to the square panels that I had before. But I also got these round blocks, which just look amazing. I may use those for like an armor panel or something. Alright, let's look through here. And I, I may change a lot of this up when I get done. But this is just me figuring out where I want to put certain materials. Alright, we 
put this here? No, nope, not there. They're right there. And then I believe the next one's down there. There we go. Like I said, all of this is just skinning. That's all it's here for. Renegade Bundy, it will. What do you mean it will? I hope I said something good here. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go number two. We'll take it to that. And uh, go from there. I probably want to go from here to there. Like so. And then we'll come up with something going that direction. I'm going to have to figure out... Eh, well. We're going to have to figure this out. Okay, I need to... I need to pause for just a second. On doing all that other stuff. And figure up how this uh, turret section is going to go on. Alright, now, where's my guns? Guns, guns. I don't have guns yet. Okay, that's the thing. Oh. Poor dumb brain looks at it and suddenly goes, Burt, we forgot where the guns were. Let's see, eh, just Gatling guns. Like I said, I didn't put any turret control blocks on here, so that'll just have to be it. Now, the major issue. I run into this a lot. Uh, this thing will not be landable on a planet. I wonder if one big Gatlin will be enough. Just throw the big Gatlin there and just leave it. And just let that be the only weapon that defends this thing. So it's just like a true freighter. It's just got the one Gatlin. Maybe a couple of small miniature guns. One of those, the interior turrets. I have a few of those on it in certain places, so it can somewhat defend itself, but it's not overpowered. Just a single PDC to shoot down incoming fire. Because the rate this is going, this is not something that's going to be landable on a planet. That's for dang sure. We're not going to be landing on any planets with this thing. We're going to be roaming around planets with this. And I could extend this out a little bit more so it has an even playing field to work with. Let me do that. Let's take this. Extend it out just a tad just to see what that looks like. Let's see here. That kind of bulks the ship a little bit more. I don't know what the weight of that corrugated car, that uh, not corrugated cardboard. Oh, my poor dumb brain. I don't know what the weight of this, uh, these blast doors are going to be. Of course, I guess what I could do. I've got all this real estate in here for just absolutely nothing. Let's try this. Reinforce there. That looks interesting. 
<clears throat> See, what I wanted to do is I wanted to land on those four points. So you don't really need landing gear. You just kind of put it down in like an area and it just drops in. And it looks nice. I'm going to go right here and just look at it from both sides here. Let's just look at it see how it would look. Huh. I can live with it. I think it'll work like that. So, we'll probably take this. That'll double as a landing gear now. I mean, joy. Um, how do I do that? <laughs> Here I am doing it. Yeah, I just I just came up with an idea, and now I'm like, oh, how do I do that? Less heavier than a heavy armor block, huh? Huh. We may not want as many of these on here as I thought. It depends on if the ship can lift it. If it can't lift it, I'm going to have to do something else. <clears throat> what I'm hoping is maybe I don't have... I, I have enough on here... We just won't add any more. But I'm hoping we have enough that I don't have to worry about adding any more. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. I guess I could go inside and check. Make sure that it doesn't. And I forgot. I wiped my uh, gravity generator. Where is that at? Oh, gravity. Where'd you go? I'll come down here and just run the acceleration all the way into the negative. And there we go. We're back in gravity. Let's see. I don't know, guys. It is significantly slower now. It just feels... <clears throat> it feels slower. It feels more sluggish. I don't know. We may have to limit the number of uh, the heavy armor blocks that are on here. Or these. Uh, that, that may be just all we can put on for now. We just won't put any more on. That way we can still have the uh, we can still have the ship, but we don't have to worry about anything else. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There, there. And we're going to shove a nice little piece right there. Now, the next part is going to be interesting because I'm going to have to just build it like so. Like that. And Hmm. Actually, I don't, I don't have to do that here. I'll do that there, but not the other thing. 
do this and that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. What is it? Belether? You go in there in Skyrim and you ask you ask him what's he got and he says, eh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <clears throat> That's what we're getting right now. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Alright, so now I need to let's see if I can make something happen with this. Okay, that ain't gonna work there. I don't know. I may just be stuck doing it the other way. Let me let me see if number five can give me something interesting. that now whether I can pull off this same stunt over here see if I can that way it has a little bit more of a shape to it uh, no not like that like this yeah we can get more more curves out of it we all know the one that wins is the one with the most curves I think I can put something in there that'll go the distance. There we are. The fun part will be when we do a planetary test of this thing <laughs> see whether or not we just crash and burn okay uh, all right we'll go to number one there we go I really should turn the mirror tool on but I am just too lazy to quit right now okay that's done. We have this large operational thingamajig working. And with any luck, I can probably... I'm not going to get away with that, but... I can probably pull this a bit more. And make it come back. Until everything like kind of locks into place. So let's see here. Uh... Can I? Can I do that? Let's see. Jack Dawes, have you ever wanted to build a sort of creative station where you do testing and design? Yeah, that'd be cool. If I could ever have the time to blueprint that out and do it. Uh, another thing y'all might want to figure out also, I, I, this is a trick. I may do a video on this actually eventually because um, my wife said it was a pretty cool thing I was doing. You can actually take... Um, graph paper like you used to have back in high school and use it to figure out ship designs you know like test out some ideas and stuff before you put it down on the game I tend to use that because sometimes I just need to sit down and write and figure it out before I start doing stuff because I get frustrated and I'll just be like eh I don't feel like doing this all of a sudden. We're done we're done gaming for the day when I'm just about to pull my hair out and start losing my mind. Okay, I think I can cover all of this in one 
Bella. Swoop right there. Here we go. Now we are going to add, I just remembered, I do have to add a antenna to this. So we'll have to figure that out here in just a minute. Hey, the surface of that is looking a little flat. I'm not going to lie. Maybe pulling a couple of these up just to add some extra look to the ship at some point. But as of right now, it's looking pretty good. Now there is a blandness to it, and I feel like we probably are going to have to add some stuff here just to make it stand out more. Let me work with this. I've got an idea here for this. Well, we know it's pressurized now. Uh, let's go here. I'll do this. We'll just install as many of these as we can in here. See if that doesn't help. A couple of these. Right along in here. Let me see here. Renegade Bundy. Yeah, I have like five different nice looking unfinished builds just chilling since my brain short circuited on design details. Yes. Assault cannons shred small ships by Jack Dolls. Yeah, they do. Uh, but this is more of a civilian ship, and I think a minigun over a 20 millimeter round is going to be something the government would let you have. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look. we Can I do that? That would look good. Let me see. I think I got a round one instead. We'll do that. I'll just give it a weird look right there. It's not my cup of tea, I will state this. Having those one parts in there, they're not my cup of tea right there. I prefer something else or a different look. But I'm not, I'm not going to get that. So, we'll go to there. Uh, no, 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 no. Number seven, put that back. Do this. And then number two. We're just gonna make some rise points. Or actually, yeah, we'll make some rise points here. Raise those. And then number eight. We want to come in with a little bit of greebling here. All right, that's working out. We're adding details. Lots and lots of details. Okay. So those are there. What do I got under here? I've got the batteries that are exposed. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to mess with those. We can help it. Leave those. Keep those from getting exposed. Uh, I need to make all this tied in together. So, number five. We need this tie in here. That's another thing I realized about the, uh, I, I gotta do this. I gotta do this just real quick. I'm telling you, I have to do this. Ah. Don't screw with me, man. I have to do this. So the new solar panels. I saw this and immediately said, why the F not? The 
and some kind of half block in between here, but mostly everyone's probably sitting here wondering what is Badger doing? What is the plan, Badger? Tie fighter, baby. <laughs> this is something I've I've been looking at, and I'm like, oh, we could so do that now. So now now we could literally build a small tie fighter for space engineers. Just fly it in there, and it would actually have working solar panels. And that that's this is now canon in space engineers. A little bit of work has to be put into it to figure it out, but I mean, you could do some angled ones on a. Uh, like a tie interceptor or something like that. Just do some angled ones in a couple of blocks and you've got a tie interceptor or something like that. Tie defenders. I mean, that's that's a thing now. I, I saw these new solar panels and the, the cool part about these, I don't know if people know this, they're called this. But let me uh, put them up here. They are paintable. Renegade Bundy, well, I got to head to work. Have a nice stream. Oh, we will. We will. Sorry to see you go, man. Uh, but the rest of this will be up on YouTube when I get done with it today. So, you get done, you can just come on back and enjoy. But, yeah, this is just... These new solar panels are going to make a whole lot of difference on a whole lot of things. You're going to be able to build so many better solar... I, I am... Everyone's been saying they wanted to do... They wanted a moon stream where I get on the moon and I play with some mods. Uh, all these new modifications, all these new upgrades and stuff are going to make a moon playthrough so much more fun. So, so much more fun. We're going to make a really cool base and fight all kinds of really cool stuff. But right now, we got to tie all this crap together. Okay. Um, go number four here. Oh, crap. I forgot. Err. Uh, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Defaults. Right there. Well, bless. Okay. Uh, what am I doing here? All right, number four. Where is... That works. That works also. That too works. So now, number two. Yep, yep, and right there. And number seven. There, I just shove that in there. Now there's not a whole lot I can do on that side. Now for the bottom here. This is going to be the fun part. Now I can cover this. In reality, though, I don't need to cover this because the whole interior is airtight. So this area right here being exposed is not going to make that much of a difference. I may add just a little bit of gravelling there. Let's go ahead and fill that spot. Hmm. Let's go to four here. Ah, come on, this is this is gonna work. I know it is. No, that's not what I'm after. That's not what I'm after. Right, this will work here. And here, it'll give that a flow. Ah, this is annoying right here. knock those off real quick because I'm I'm gonna I want to do that and then let's grab that there that there 
And then I think there is a block, maybe. Not seeing it here. Okay, we may not have we may not be able to do that. We may just have to go back to four. And we'll just do that. Make sure it just all flows good. Okay now, the only thing I gotta do now is coat some more pieces of metal as it goes in. Let's do this because I believe I was just gonna do that and be done with it. Number seven. And let's go down here. Clicky. And then... I'll just come across here. Click, and there we go. Check that out. Now the question is... Number one, greebling. <laughs> we got a greeble. Uh, let me see. Can I throw some stuff on here? Let's see. Jack Dawes. One thing I'm thinking is if that's a freighter that latches onto a big ass piece of cargo from on the front, you might need modded thrusters for this build to work and look the same. Um, I don't think so because really, if you look at stuff like tugboats and things like that, they have a lot of power, but they usually are pretty understatement on how they're going to move cargo around and everything. So it wouldn't be, it can latch on to a bigger one. And then all you'd have to do is you would just need enough engine power for it to jump it where it needs to go. And then it's just very easy pushing, pushing and moving it would be what you need to do. But if y'all want to put modified thrusters on it and make it more agile, all power to you. I do not have a problem with that. Okay, I think that's all the pieces that have to be found. I've got a square over here that needs to be slapped on. Dang it, there we go. All right, uh, one more thing we're gonna have to add to this. Just realized it. And I'm gonna have to make it work here. Okay. Uh oh god, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Um We're gonna do this with just the number two blocks here. I'm gonna shove that there. We're gonna throw one of these blocks in. that and then I need the old antenna because hey you are not running a ship in space engineers without the old antenna oh looky here wait a minute Yep, there's no way to put that in there like that because of all those panels. So I'm going to have to jerk that out just a bit more. Do that. Uh, number three here. And then add on... Actually, I have a better idea. I'll see that. Give us a little more detail to work with. There we are. Number five. Come on, baby. Let's see, like this. Yeah, that'll work. And we have our antenna on there. Set up. Nice little asymmetrical ship going on there. 
So now, I'm going to add a bit more greebling here. good kind of wish I could do that to the other side but we're only gonna do this to the engine so that'll be all right that just gives us a bit more of a reinforced look to the engines like yeah the engines have to be barred in like this all right there we go all that's in there what else what else uh, that's about it We've kind of got everything going the way it has to go. I'm happy with the shape. I guess I just asked you guys, how do y'all feel about it? With the, uh, the shape of it and everything. If there's anything y'all want me to change on it, tell me now. Because I can, I can always change it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> well, that's good. I noticed that. Spin one, spin two. We'll put that heavier mount right there. That just brings the whole thing together a lot more. All right, let's see. How it flies. Got that one airlock. But at least we know even the airlock is airtight, so that's good. Why am I moving so slow? There we go. In we go. Hold on just a second, I gotta take a phone call. Okay, everybody, we have a situation here. My wife just called, and uh, she is caught by a train, and I have to go rescue the kid from school. So <laughs> so what we're going to do next time is I'm going to, next Friday, I will pick back up where we left off, uh, and we'll do, uh, that is getting kind of close. We'll pick up where we left off last time here. And we'll see how this thing flies in atmosphere. If I have to take off those metal parts there, we will come up with a different way to land it. Probably with some landing gear. If I take off those extra blast door parts. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and the live stream. If you guys enjoyed it and had a lot of fun watching and got some inspiration, I am ultimately very happy about that. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, got videos and tons of content you guys can watch and uh jack dawes 07 yep there we go um anyway thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed the live stream and as always i'm badger wild saying stay safe stay frosty and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye for now